you did mention the concerns around China. What happened with LVMH's revenue? Right, so the key figure to look at is organic revenue at its uh, fashion and leather goods unit. So that's its biggest division. That rose just 1%. Mm. So it missed analyst estimates by almost half, bearing in mind analysts forecast a rise of 1.95%. So obviously not what LVMH wants. If you compare it to a year ago where we saw growth of 21%, that's a pretty tough comparable. And I think it just speaks to how tough the luxury environment is at the moment, even for a company like LVMH. Yeah, with all of its different brands and the world's largest sort of luxury group. So the slump in China, how much of it is being offset maybe by those under pressure Chinese consumers going elsewhere and buying, you know, in another country, let's say? Yeah, so this was really interesting. So we saw that uh, for the uh, for the area that includes China, revenue fell by about fourteen uh, percent. So uh, one bright spot uh, is Japan as a market. So uh, that actually rose, which was really interesting because the CFO mentioned in the earnings call yesterday that a lot of Chinese travelers were traveling to Japan, and that was particularly because of the weak yen. But he did say that while he's pleased with that result, uh, that obviously comes at the cost of profit and margin. Yeah, which is obviously difficult. Um, how do LVMH's results then compare to a sector that we know has been under pressure? Obviously, they had the pandemic and, and slightly post-pandemic uh, boom times, and now it's getting much more difficult. Yeah, so w what's interesting is LVMH it has... 75 brands under its portfolio. We have to remember that those brands span across fashion, it includes jewelry, uh, hotels, drinks. Um, and given that, you know, it's it's missed uh, a lot of its uh, targets, that uh, that that organic uh, revenue miss was pretty broad based. So it just go it speaks to how tough the luxury environment is. If we compare it to other brands like Richemont, for example, the parent company of Cartier, uh, they were also you know, barely able to grow revenue in their latest quarter. But we look at other brands like, for example, Burberry, the British trench coat maker, that has really suffered in the most recent quarter. It just goes to show that for these particularly aspirational shoppers, so the shoppers that make only one or two luxury purchases a year, uh, they're really pulling back in this, in this inflationary environment.